Welcome to another episode of Astral Auto Repairs. Can you dig it? You like that, don't you? Alright. This is like a continuation video. 2004 Nissan Quest. <coughs> um, diagnosed a um, check engine light PO325. Cam sensor malfunction bank 2. Um, check out the video. Um, today, what I'm going to do is show you how to replace it. Right, very, very easy to replace. So you don't need to pay nobody to change this for you. That's all you're going to need is a 10 millimeter something. <laughs> a 10 millimeter, I don't know how I'm going to get in there with that. I'll probably use a swivel. But let's get right to it because today is a, is a kind of busy day. So uh, let's jump right on it. All right, cam sensor, and here's the engine, just in case. Um, now, when they say left side or right side of the engine, it's as if you're behind the engine, if right behind the engine, like we are right now. So that would be the left side, that would be the right side. So what's on the left side of the engine, the back of the, um, the cylinder head, here's the plug for it right there. And what we're going to do is uh, move this hose out of the way, and let's get us a screwdriver and see... Now, up here, you're not gonna have that much room. You see how much space between there? There's the, the bolt right there. And you have about that much room right there. So what I'm gonna do is probably use a 10 millimeter swivel with a, a long rack, long extension, and a ratchet, all right? So let's get that and get us a flat tip screwdriver. <coughs> now, a lot of times on these Nissan plugs, you got a little green tab right here. Now, what you're supposed to be able to do is push that tab down it's going to lock into place and then get your screwdriver and then pull it off from the previous video as we can see i had to push down on the screwdriver at the same time unplug it all right so uh let's let's get that let's get that done we'll be right back all right before we continue on with this i want to give a um give my props Heads up, thanks to um, Auto Fix Pile, <coughs> and uh, you let me know. Um, doing when I checked it out, I figured I, <coughs> I thought that the cam position sensor, one of them was located where we are, and the other one was located on the right side of the engine, the front. Um, he let me know that both of them was in the back, and also, which is a good thing, that he let me know that um, usually when he does this on a customer's car, he let them know you should replace all three not all three cam sensors both cam sensors and the crank sensor because theoretically if one's gone bad the other two can't be, can't be too far behind it um, that is some very good advice thank you very much i appreciate that now you know sometimes and a lot of times it's a hard sell to sell the customer because they, they think you're selling them something <clears throat> but it's a good thing to let them know so that when it do happen like i told you something Again, thanks a lot. Give you props on that. Appreciate that. Now, let's get back to this. Now, what I got here, I got my 3 8 drive stubby ratchet, flat screwdriver. This is about a two foot extension, 3 8 drive extension, with a universal, a swivel, 10 millimeter 3 8 drive socket on the end of it so now the first thing we're going to do here let's go over here now see sometimes then this right here what's supposed to happen I'm supposed to be able to push this down it locked into place and I'm supposed to be able to pick it up unplug it but I can't um, so I, I learned this from last time so what you guys might have to do is Push that down, hold the screwdriver down, and pick that up. Let me see if I can set this camera down. And you can see it. Heck no, you can't see it. And if I mess my camera, I'm going to be pissy mad. Okay. There we go. Now... As I said, there's not that much space between this bracket 
and that 10 millimeter bolt. So that's why I got my long extension. I want to see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you know that is just sweet. And I'm out here. I can stand up and can do that, man. Oh, look at that. Just loosen it with one hand. Bam! Alright, once you get it, once you get it loose, be careful because that bolt ain't too long. So I'm gonna set the thing up here and see if I can take it out. Get it in and take it out by hand. And of course not. Let's see if I use my other hand. Oh yeah, there we go. I'm using my left hand and twisting the other way. Okay. And there's our bolt. Now let's see if we can get this out by hand. Just should be able to turn it a little bit. Just like that. And pull it. It should be able to just pull right out. And there we go. Alright. There's our old sensor and check that out look at that look at the heat marks that has on it and you can tell look at the burn marks up there right on top that thing was definitely over uh, heating up you know so I tell you guys guys girls especially it looks like our uh, percentage of uh, women on our channel is starting to climb a little bit. That's very cool, you know. Y'all been sending me some emails. Thank you very much, um, grandmothers. <laughs> That'd be cool. Yo, appreciate that. The way we explain things. Um, <coughs> save yourself some money. You take this tour. You take this tour. One of these uh, shops out here. Uh, they're gonna charge you eighty to a hundred dollars just to diagnose your problem and let you know you need this. All right. Just keep. Just stay subscribed to our channel. I'm going to show you some tricks to the trade. Save you a heck of a, heck of a lot of money. We're going to save a bunch of people money. But um, All right. What we have here is this <coughs> standard T-Series uh, PC461T for Timmy. Tell him that's for Timmy. We're going to open this up. All right. There we go. Make sure it has that O-ring on it. And just get a little of the old oil down there and just put around it. Great sensor. All right. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to stick my finger down here in this, because uh, there's oil inside here. Grab some of that oil, just put it around, the, around that O-ring. And then you're going to put that in there. Okay. And when you're putting this in, as you're putting it in, try to, you know, twist it back and forth. So it goes in there. And you're going to feel it pop into place. So, you know, this is getting this. It's, it's a tight spot. <laughs> it's a, don't try to use no wrench or anything like that. There we go. Okay, now I'm in. And what we're going to do here is... Let's set this camera up. Okay. So what I'm going to do here. Now either you can take the bolt. And go sideways. Go back like that. And try to get in. Or you can do one of my tricks. That I've been teaching. Especially out here. Grab a piece of pine cone somewhere. <laughs> a pine needle. And you just break off a little piece, put it onto the socket. It should stay up there. One is good enough. And just put that in there. See that? That's going to keep that bolt right, right in place. Just enough so you can get down there and put it in there. All right, so I'm going to put the bolt down in there. Tighten it up. As soon as you feel it stops, just 
Just turn it a little bit more. Take it off. And that's done. Okay. Then we're gonna go back over here and let's unplug now. And once we plug this up, that little green tab right there that you pushed down in the beginning, once you push it down, that tab is gonna snap back up. It's a locking tab. <coughs> it's gonna snap back up by itself. So let's get that plugged up. And you heard it just snap back up. Get our hose and put back on. Now with when what I was talking about auto fix power was saying that both of them is located in the back of the engine on each cylinder head. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but way back there you see a green plug that's going to that second one. Man, I'm glad I'm changing that one. <laughs> um, but it's definitely recommended you can change that. And uh, again, you see this one was definitely burning out. All right, he should get some new terminals here. This is a lot of corrosion. A lot of this corrosion will definitely cause a lot of problems with your vehicle. It's starting. It looks like somebody changed the positive already. All right, that's cool. Let's get our Actron and clear these codes out. All right, let's go over here and uh, open the door. Set our handy dandy Actron down. Let's put the key in the on position. Now we just put it on right now. Just all right. Let's go in here and. There it is, right over there. Let's plug that up. All right, let's get in here and sit down. All right, let me get my Actron hooked up. And uh, let me pull this door too. Get our Actron hooked up, and I'll be right back. Okay, uh, let's put our key on. Okay, now, we have, let's hit an enter. Man, this thing. Okay, let's see. Let's see about that. There we go. Let's go down to Asian Nissan 04 Quest 3.5. Keep it. Blah blah blah. Enter. Just to show you guys what's was in here before diagnostic codes just to make sure you know because they they've been driving the vehicle so we want to make sure that that's all is still here okay 345 bank 2 bank 2 okay so let's go back um race codes are we sure yes we are okay command sent we codes system pass everything good okay let's start this vehicle up Hey, check that out. Yo, this thing is like... Dead. <laughs> Let me check those. Because that battery terminal had a lot of uh, corrosion. You know what? Just in case, I'm going to put the key on. Okay, key is on. I'm going to cut my headlights on. And let's see. I'm going to move these. Oh, yeah. Look at that. They came right on. Look at that, man. Um, you know what? That is not good. We're going to have to... That is definitely going to have to be changed. That is definitely going to have to be changed. And that thing got a noisy engine, too. Alright, let's shut this off. I'm gonna have to change that terminal. Shut the lights off. Alright, move right back. Okay, and you know, and, and see, this, it was, it's funny how <coughs> I was just sh telling you guys that's gotta be cleaned up because it can definitely cause a problem with starting. I was just saying that mess. 
and bam and luckily luckily it happened with me right here in the customer's yard instead of her being somewhere um out to work or shopping or something because you would have been stuck stranded over something so simple um so i'm gonna i'm gonna have to take care of that get all this other mess out of here i don't know what the heck this is it's the ground Very easy to fix. Um, again, if you have a car that's stalling out, then it'll start back up. And you get that code, trust me, change it, take it out, look at it, you're gonna see the marks right now. Um, again, auto fix power. I appreciate that. Thank you very much for that input. Um, hey, nobody knows everything. So any kind of input is good, except for you smart asses who want to think you know everything you don't. I will run you in the ground. It's as simple as that. All right, so you know, keep that in the back of your head. <laughs> uh, Dutch, keep it up with them um, diesel uh, diesel repairs because you could have it, man. Ah, diesel, me and diesel just don't get along. Don't try, people. Don't try to don't don't try to rip people off and fix something that you have no business being up under. It's simple as simple as that. When somebody comes to us, even though our motto is we can't repair it, nobody can. Uh, if it comes to diesel, I'm not going to get involved, right? I'm not going to sit there and put myself out there like that. Uh, we don't get into transmissions, we'll change it. We will not get into, we'll diagnose a, a sensor, a faulty solenoid or something, but we will not get into detail with a transmission. That's a different line of work. That's, leave that for the professionals. It's as simple as that. And body work, I don't do either. All right, so these other guys, they try to reach out. You got to understand, these shops got an overhead, right? They got an overhead, they got to pay their mechanics. There's overhead all together. They will rip you off the first chance you get, right? I'm not like that. A lot of other guys ain't like that. Dutch, auto fix power. Y'all guys take it easy. Len, take care. Mark, <laughs> Steve, yeah. Chris, what's up? <coughs> you got you to gotta give props where it's due. You guys help me out. Timmy, master order repairs. If you can't repair it, nobody can. Take it on.